welcome back to my channel I haven't been doing videos but I'm back now this is my hair it's kind of grown out almost halfway like I just have the ends that are colored and I'm trying to grow my hair out because I think I've been cutting my hair for so too long and I kind of want to start growing it out so today I'm just going to do a quick style I saw I think I saw Sierra have it and so I'm going to do a quick style almost like a nice pigtail ponytail type look my hair is already clean and washed I'm going to do I pretty much work on this center part all the way to the back of my hair I'm going to be using Mizani Miracle Milk to pretty much condition my hair and then kind of like ran my hands through it make sure it's all over my hair get my hair a little bit moisturized I'm going to be using this echo styler gel to slick my hair down so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and just perfect my little middle part sometimes it's really hard to perfect the middle part but you try as much as possible to get it to be as straight as possible so I'm trying to make sure that my part will look as straight as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect when you're trying to perfect the middle part. But I did what I can and you can see the back. I got it enough that my ponytail will not look too raggedy. But it's, you know, a middle part going all the way through the back. Now I'm using a ponytail to separate one section of my hair and then I'm going to apply the Echo Styler Gel in my hair section by section. I mean, usually when I do this it's not little sections but the sections are small enough so I can get a good enough amount of the echo styler gel in my hair so I can get the slick look that I'm going for so I am just pretty much applying the set echo styler gel all over my hair front to back um, making sure that my hair is kind of being clumped together um, from the bottom all the way to the top so I can get that slick look that I'm looking for so it is a lot of echo styler gel but I'm using as much as possible so that I can get the slick look that I'm going for I'm also using a comb to comb through it and a brush to kind of like smoothen my hair down all the way in the back the middle and also in the front so I can get the slick look it is a ponytail look after all right so it has to be slick if you know what I'm saying so I've got the hair slick enough into um, this bun and I'm going to use a rubber band to secure it so I can get a small little bun. I'm still using my brush to smoothen my hair, using my hands to smoothen until I can get this ponytail as secure as possible. So this one side is done. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, apply and get it as smooth as possible with my brush and make sure that the ponytail on the other side is also as slick as possible so I can keep my ponytail look going so I'm just using my hands to kind of get it to be flat as possible get another rubber band and also secure this other part on um, this other section of my hair um, into a small little ponytail before I apply the hair so I use Edge Booster. I'm using the pink one, all pink one, and a little brush to kind of like tame my edges, make sure my edges are laid so that my ponytail can look nice and, and sleek and neat. So I'm just pretty much brushing my edges down. Um, see my back? It's okay. It's not too bad. Got my ponytail secure. And now I'm going to tie it with a little small edge scarf so I can get my edges to look as laid as possible. I'm tied all around, secured it in the top part. And then I'm also going to proceed to tie my overall hair with a silk scarf so that I can get my hair to completely lay down and be flat before I proceed to do my real um, pigtails. So yeah, I pretty much got it all the way together and the hair I am going to be using is 24 inches from my local beauty supply store. I think it's called Ruya hair and that's, that's the A hair I'm using. A few seconds later, actually, I'm back at my house now and I removed the edge 
wrap scarf that I had, I put a rubber band in the middle of the braiding hair, which is called Rua hair. I didn't get it right the first time. Uh, it's on the pack. But I put the rubber band, you know, around my bun and I'm separating a part of my of the hair that I'm going to be leaving out. Now the rest of the hair that's left over, I separated into three equal parts, trying to ensure that I can get it as equal as possible so my um, braid doesn't look lopsided or funny. And I'm going to make sure that I can wrap it around my ends that you can see in the video that is brown from my previous color. My hair is kind of short so it was kind of difficult to do this. But I'm trying as much as possible to make sure that I can wind this hair around this brown end so I can hide it as much as possible. Now, when doing these type of braids, you have to ensure that the hair, the grip, the grip or my grip is not too tight so that the hair doesn't look too, it's supposed to be a jumbo braid. That is the name. So I'm braiding all the way down. I am taking hair from whichever side that has too much hair and adding to the side that does, does doesn't have enough hair so I can get it to be as equal as possible. Now you can see that I was trying to hide the brown ends that I have and it was kind of difficult because you can literally see it sticking out. But I'm braiding all the way down. I'll try and fix it. I'm trying to ensure that this hair is equally balanced separating the hair like I said before ensuring that I can get it to um, look equal as I braid all the way down so that end is done you can see that I am opening up the braid a little bit the point of all of this is to loosen up the braid and not make it too tight because you want it to look as soft as possible and also tucking in that side that has the brown end showing the hair that's left out, what I'm doing is I am I'm winding that around the base of my hair to make it look a little bit more realistic. I am trying to spread the hair out a little bit more as I wind it around the base and also trying to cover the hair that's sticking out. So I'm going all the way around until the hair, I don't see any more hair piece. I've done all this winding around all the way until um, I don't see any more hair and then I'm trying to hide it out and securing the base of this hair with a bobby pin. So pretty much this braid is done. I'm trying to secure it so I can hide the hair that I wound around the base. You can still see a little bit of my hair sticking out but I'm going to continue to spread it apart so that I can get it to be as even as possible. I'm working on this other side of my hair now. I'm doing the same thing. I am separating some hair that, I le that I'm leaving out and then the rest of the hair I am doing the same thing by separating it in into three equal parts and also winding it around the little bun that I have so I can hide the bun and my color in of course and then also braiding in the same way I did the other side ensuring that my three equal parts are actually equal and adding hair from each side or whichever side that has a little bit more it's hair to the other side so that I can get enough hair and also make it as even as possible so pretty much my job is just braiding all the way down. It's pretty much done. This style is very simple. It's quick. It's a nice, quick, protective style. And you can be on your way and done. Okay, guys. I'm done. This is my hair. This is how long it is. I'm going to cut these ends over here and put them together like that. And I'm going to cut so it can be the same length like that. And I'll put in the hot water, okay? So this is how my hair looks like. This is the length. Go back some more. I switched positions. If you haven't noticed, I was in I was in the salon before, and now I'm in my bathroom. Hair around here. Yeah. You can do a, quite a bit of different things to this hair. One of the things that I saw. People, I looked on YouTube and I saw some people had one and around it like that. And then pin it. 
We can either do that or can even cross it over like this. Hold on, like this. Like like a, almost like a, a goddess braid type thing like that. And pin it. So you can have a new style. But I'm gonna leave mine down and I'm gonna put some accessories on it and I'll be back to show you the final final, okay? guys my hair is all of the way done do you see how the accessories made it look extra nice and gorgeous yeah i love it i love it i love it love it love it love it i'll show some pictures in the end as usual but don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel i'll try and give you guys a little bit more content Hit the notification bell so that you get all my videos, get notifications when I do a new video. Thank you. And I'm about to step out and I'll see you guys later. Bye.